One of the most intriguing and yet intuitive classes of dynamical systems is inspired by billiards. Consider a billiards table and the way in which banking a ball off the edge of the table implicates geometry. The angle of incidence of the ball equals the angle of reflection. Something similar happens with a laser beam reflecting off a mirror, either flat or curved. In either case, a single bounce is clear. But what happens on a billiards table with the next bounce, and the next, and the next, and so on? This is what we mean that billiards form a dynamical system with long-term behavior. Instead of a rectangular table, consider a Birkhoff billiards table, a simple closed smooth C2 convex curve in the plane. The simplest Birkhoff table is a circle, and it has some remarkable properties. There are periodic and non-periodic trajectories corresponding to angles of incidence which are either rational or irrational with respect to pi. Any trajectory is always tangent to a concentric circle. This is an example of a caustic. Now what happens if we change the shape of the table slightly? Let's say that instead of a circle, we have an elliptical table. What then changes? Most of the behavior is similar. There's a family of confocal elliptical caustics that fill up or foliate the table, limiting onto the boundary. However, there are some new caustics on elliptical tables. Any orbit that crosses the line between the two foci is trapped in a region that bounces back and forth in a manner that is always tangent to a hyperbola. This is a different type of caustic for this system. Well, so much for circles and ellipses. What about other Birkhoff billiards? Even with a convex and smooth table, as soon as you move away from ellipses, some very complicated dynamics can emerge. In fact, it is both possible and common to find chaotic dynamics within such simple billiard systems when the table is not elliptical. Although you might find certain caustics in these more chaotic billiards tables, these do not fill up the interior of the table. This brings us to the Birkhoff conjecture. Put forward by Birkhoff in the early 20th century and formalized by Poritsky in 1950. This conjecture states that a Birkhoff billiard has a neighborhood of its boundary foliated by caustics if, and only if, it is an ellipse. This conjecture, sometimes called the holy grail of billiard dynamics, has resisted numerous attempts as outlined in the following survey papers. A major step towards the Birkhoff conjecture was announced in 2020 by Bialy and Miranov in the following preprint. Before getting to their work, let's go back to the idea of a billiard system and see just how the dynamics arise. The state space for a billiard system, sometimes called the phase space, is an annulus or a cylinder that is the Cartesian product of S1, the circle, with the interval from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, where the first component is the position on the table boundary topologized as a circle, and the second component is the angle at which the ball strikes this boundary. If you know where and at what angle the ball hits the billiard table edge, you can determine where and at what angle the next hit happens. This means we have a discrete time dynamical system in which time hops from hit to hit. Such a system is encoded as a continuous mapping from the state space to itself. In the case of an elliptical billiard, the dynamics displays a combination of symmetry and rigidity known as integrability. There are two special orbits of period two, where one bounces along the major and minor axes of the ellipse respectively. Every other orbit in this case lies on some invariant curve, and these invariant curves themselves fill up the cylindrical state space. Some of these curves enclose a small disk in the cylinder, and these correspond to orbits which trace out a hyperbolic caustic. Other invariant curves wrap around the cylinder, and these correspond to orbits which trace out elliptic caustics, limiting up to the boundary. That's the simplest set of examples. 
But as we move to non-elliptic billiards, a typical system will have some mixture of regular and irregular dynamics. There may be individual invariant curves, but there may also be chaotic orbits that seem to fill up regions within the cylinder. This typical behavior has been studied for a long time in dynamical systems. The result announced by Bialy and Miranov in 2020 allows one to deduce the shape of a table from properties of the dynamics on the cylinder. Here's the statement. If the dynamics of a centrally symmetric Birkhoff billiards table contains an invariant curve that goes around the cylinder once and consists of period four orbits, and if the region between this curve and the boundary of the cylinder is foliated by continuous invariant curves, then the billiard table is elliptic. This is a technical result with a very intricate proof, drawing on ideas from geometric optics, integral geometry, and more. It does not fully resolve the Birkhoff conjecture, but it is a step in that direction. For more details, see the review by Sergei Tabachnikov for the AMR. Then you can read the preprint by Bialy and Miranov. I'm Robert Greist for the Association for Mathematical Research.